Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days in five minutes as we uh, look at the uh, remnants of Sally uh, moving through the Carolinas and some of the high clouds uh, not too far away as uh, they start to advance northward. Uh, the the bulk of this is going to wind up passing to the south and east of eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. Uh, I think uh, the rain will make it up through the Delmarva Peninsula, maybe gets into southern New Jersey for a short time overnight, perhaps eclipse eastern Long Island uh, with a, a rain for a couple of hours. But for the most part, in spite of the fact that this radar is fairly loaded, here, the satellite is uh, loaded here on the infrared, and the radar I'll show you in a second is also loaded, uh, I think the bulk of this is going to wind up passing to the south and east. And then we get a cold front that will be pushing it all out. And we get set for what's going to be really an autumn weekend. And also just want to point out, uh, we do have disturbed weather again in the southwest Gulf of Mexico that uh, has uh, gotten a, a little bit better organized during the overnight. Uh, not uh, too much change, though, in the last few hours, but... Uh, the uh, Hurricane Center has an Air Force reconnaissance aircraft scheduled to go in there this afternoon. Meantime, let's check out the latest radar. And when you look at this, it's pretty loaded. I mean, there is quite a bit of rain here. The northern edge of that rain is in southern Virginia, and it's pushing northeastward. At least for the daytime today here in the northeast, it's very, very quiet. There's no precipitation going on. So we're going to be in good shape. We have another day of clouds in that hazy sun with the uh, smoke from the wildfires up at about 20 or 25,000 feet cutting off the, um, the sunshine. So that's going to cut down on the daytime heating. We should be in the 70s today for highs and overall no weather problems. Uh, the Weather Prediction Center uh, showing rainfall, of course, big rains today from uh, from South Carolina northeastward into southern Virginia, some places getting three to five inches worth of rain. But the northern edge of the uh, total rainfall uh, only uh, gets, of anything of the significance, the darker uh, green is a quarter to a half an inch. And that makes it into southern New Jersey and just touches eastern Long Island, but far less than that as you go north and west. And then it just simply cuts off. So it's a minor inconvenience. Most of it will fall tonight while you're sleeping, and uh, that's it. Uh, Temperature-wise, uh, coming into uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, we are off the morning lows, of course. A couple of uh, spots are approaching the 70-degree mark where there's more sun. Where there is less sun, you get down into uh, Maryland and Virginia, and you're mostly in the low to the mid-60s. So we're going to take a look here. This is the new NAM that is just coming out. And the NAM has been the one that's been furthest west with everything. And even this run has slid a bit more to the east. You see the rain here. This is at uh, midnight, 1 a.m., uh, where the rain gets uh, just about to uh, just south of New York City and touching eastern Long Island. But that's it. 5 a.m., you're already starting to see it sink to the south and east. You see heavy rains moving over the Delmarva Peninsula into southern Delaware and southern New Jersey. But then it moves out. And that northern edge of rain never really gets into south-central Pennsylvania. It just touches southeastern Pennsylvania for an hour or two. And then by tomorrow morning, this is at 6 a.m., just about all of the rain is offshore. And then we uh, move on from here as everything moves away to the east. It's nothing but high pressure and a northeast wind Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday. And it's going to make for some very, very nice weather uh, around here. Check out these temperatures. These are the highs for Saturday. We're only going to be uh, in the 60s everywhere. And then you start to go into northeastern Pennsylvania, up the Hudson Valley, and into New England. And you're talking 50s to around 60 degrees for the highs. Friday's highs, by the way, are going to be all in the 60s all day. And Saturday morning... When you wake up, it's going to be chilly. Temperatures are going to be down in the 40s just about everywhere. Only the warmest spots will stay above 50. And you can see it here. These are Saturday morning lows. Uh, looking at 50 at New York City, 50 at Philadelphia, but 40s everywhere else. And even 30s, northeastern Pennsylvania, on up the Hudson Valley into New England. And Sunday morning is going to be another chilly morning with 
uh, basically a repeat performance. Uh, temperatures down uh, in the uh, 40s and low 50s. You start to go further inland, north and west, and you're looking at temperatures in the 30s. Daytime highs, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and probably even on Monday, will will not be getting out of the uh, 60s. I want to take a look very quickly at Hurricane Teddy, which is going to become a major hurricane here as it moves northwest uh, over the weekend. It looks like it's going to make a very close pass to Bermuda, and then it becomes a little bit tricky after that. We've got an upper trough that's moving along the east coast that's going to try and catch this and turn it northward, and the hurricane models have shifted this a little bit further to the west, taking it into Nova Scotia. But some of the overnight models, like the European and the Icon model, for example, have it even further northwest, taking it into southeastern Maine or the western part of Nova Scotia. No impacts on our weather, unless something really bizarre happens with the upper air trough. Uh, we're going to see a lot of surf from this for several days. So if you are headed for a late season trip to the shore, uh, we are going to have uh, rough surf conditions developing uh, beginning probably later Sunday, but certainly for Monday and into Tuesday of next week. And here it is on the uh, Hurricane Center's latest forecast, 18.3 uh, north, 52.3 west, top winds 105 miles an hour. It's going to become a major hurricane probably later today or tonight comes very, very close to the island of Bermuda, then turns to the north, and we'll see what happens uh, after that. Uh, but for the time being, we're just going to uh, watch and see what it does. Tropics still remain very busy. I think we're going to uh, pretty soon be going to the Greek alphabet because we've run out of names. Wilfred is the only name uh, that is left on the, uh, on the hurricane list. We'll, uh, of course, talk about this in detail tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. And uh, for those of you who uh, like extra weather coverage or need a little bit of extra weather help, there is my weather platform on Patreon, patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And uh, your subscriptions are uh, start at $2 a month. And if you'd like, if you, could pay, if you decide you want to pay for the whole year, uh, you get a 15% discount. That's patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Also, don't forget that this uh, show, Weather in 5, and the Joe and Joe Weather Show are available as podcasts, so you can just stick your earbuds in and listen away. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.